Hello everyone and welcome to an upscale SUV and the one that carries Land Rover's legacy of being a talented off-roader which is this Land Rover Discovery R Dynamic SE. So in today's video we're going to be finding out everything in detail about this Discovery. But before we move forward please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscription button and next to that there is a bell icon make sure to press that and leave all the notifications on so that ways you will never miss any of these video reviews from my channel so the latest generation of the discovery feels a lot more rounded off now instead of the boxy designs which were there on the previous generation so let me start from the front because there are lots of optional extras also on this R dynamic se not that R dynamic itself has so much to offer there is also additional bit of things which i'm going to show you as and when we come across so you get this blacked out grill out here in this land rover badging in here and also the discovery badging and this whole area looks very now familiar to the the range rover itself and not just that it just sort of feels that on from the middle somewhere here the car tends to just narrow down while from the bottom if you check it out it just widens out a little bit and then you also have this rounded bumper design out here at the bottom there is black glossy plastic trim out here from one end to the other at the bottom there is also just the same body colored uh, bumper design at the bottom and then this huge chunky bit in the middle blacked out one glossy yep looks very good and it makes the car look super mean and out here you would find an actual vent which is there on both the sides and there are radiators in the back so it just channels air from here into the radiator so that it helps in extra bit of cooling and when you come to these headlights these are the led headlight cluster completely led and not just that they have this nice bit of design inside of them like some dots and stuff and there are also drls at the bottom and there are also turn signals which are there on the top which are the dynamic turn signals and when you come to these headlights themselves they are of course the led headlights which i had mentioned and they are also the dynamic ones they also have the cornering lights and all of that clever stuff so all of that it can do itself and also if you look very close between these two panels there are like tiny fog lights which are given out here on both the sides like like a slot now when you look at the discovery from the side profile you actually now realize the sheer size of it because it is pretty long and also pretty tall and plus it's a seven seater so you can understand how much bit of storage there will be or the space there will be on this car on the inside but let's continue from the side so you get 21 inch rims out here in this 10 spoke design and this silver and black color the uh, color settings and inside you will find the disc brakes and there's also this discovery badging out here with this black accent around it there are also black color glossy black ones uh, arches around these uh, fenders so that you don't damage your fenders on the sides and at the bottom you would find this again black color glossy plastic it's not black actually right now because there was rain yesterday and there was a bit of let's say off-roading session which is why it's all covered in dirt and mud and all of that so apologize for that if you cannot see the black color but these are the black color glossy ones and there's also the r dynamic badging out here and on this discovery you get the optional motorized sideboard so you know to get access to that you just open the doors and the sideboard opens up and when you close the door it just goes away so it's more easier for people to get in and out of the car but I don't know what it, it it just reduces a little bit of the ground clearance of the car when you put that but not just that uh, you can even uh, choose not to open that uh, sideboard or if you want to open that sideboard whenever you want from the infotainment screen as well when you come to the side mirrors these are black color glossy black uh, side mirrors which are power foldable they are also power adjustable they also have the blind spot warning inside them there is also a led turn signal given on the sides and also one of the cameras from the 360 degree camera system and you get this dual tone body color option which is the black on top and the paint job normal gray one out here and there is also black color roof rails which are given out here which is again a part of the r dynamic se and also the roof which is blacked out which is a part of the r dynamic package and there is also this big land rover badging out here and 
the the thing is the doors are actually humongous when you see the size of it because this cut out out here yeah this itself makes the door feel so big and they are actually pretty heavy as well because you really have to force them to close it there is also arches out here again the blacked out ones the glossy black and there's this cut out which is they've tried to maintain the discovery design as well to inculcate that into this original ones also so they've they've taken that original elements of keeping the big rear glass the side glass for the third row out here in this discovery as well when you come to the suspensions on this one you get the air suspensions and they are pretty good as always from range rover because uh, sorry the land rover why did i say range rover yeah from the land rover so they are they are adjustable so you get three different modes that you can adjust in so you have the normal one which is right now and then you can also put it into the off-road mode where it would actually lift the car completely high up maximum possible and there is also the access mode so it would just reduce the car to its lowest level and then you can access in and out easily with the help of that sideboard and everything but when the car is in the maximum off-road mode the wading depth of this car is 0.9 meters and when it's in this normal setting it's still 800 millimeters or 0.8 meters so that is something pretty intense and quite capable of an suv which is what this discovery is and not just that there is also the land rover hologram that illuminates the ground at night and there is also a nice bit of touches which are given out here on the frame as well so there is this discovery outline of it which is given out here and there are also our dynamic plates on the door sills now in the back you can see the car is in the normal height right now but it's still matching my height so when it goes into the off-road mode it's going to be really high lifted and you get in the back these rear tail lights that curve from the side profile and they go into the back and the design itself overall on the body and the exterior is quite plain that way you don't have too many lines or anything going but more like flat panels everywhere even out here you get this roundish look out here which is why i said it's become more roundish than the boxy nature that it had in the previous generation so you get these led tail light cluster complete led tail light and there are also the dynamic turn signals which are given out here even on this discovery and they are like flushed out with the body which is when you start realizing that even the new range rover had a very similar design now because it's all flushed with the body design itself there is also this black color discovery lettering out here here and on this black glossy plastic itself there's also the Land Rover badging in here and the P360 but the more important part is the placement of this number plate now some of you may find it a little awkward a little weird and some of you may like this but it's more like this it's just that the the, the mouth feels a little on the it's a, it's a crossed one so that is what it looks like but i mean you get used to it once you start looking at it a little longer and for a while then yeah you can get used to it and there is also this black color glossy plastic out here in the middle at the bottom there is just the body color and there is also the little bit of angle out here and at the bottom of this you would find couple of exhaust on both the sides and they are actually cleverly hidden which is actually good because it gives it a very clean look and there is also a spare wheel which is mounted underneath in the center when you come to the visibility it's actually pretty decent because it's pretty much like a vertical rear glass that you get so the visibility is going to be all right some pillars on both the sides but that's fine there's also this spoiler which has been given and if you're wondering if you have a rear wiper which is clearly not in here but it is cleverly hided out here on top and when you come to the boot space so i want to show you something special because this car also comes with the activity key now the activity key is an optional extra which is a part of what i said there are optional extras that is one of this so this key that you get is basically like a key instead of in your pocket it just you can wear it like a band and you can even lock unlock this car you can even open the boot you can even put on the parking lights in case where if you park the car and you don't know then this will start honking the car so let me try to open the boot so when i press that 
you see you can do that and this is when it's on your wrist of course because it's much more convenient so now they put this back and continue with our review as you can notice there is this board that falls down so let me put this back first because i want to show you that it folds away first when you open the boot so instead of the scruff blades you have the idea of this board that falls down which is again electronically controlled everything there is no sweating in this car because everything happens electronically and you can now slide your luggage in and out and then you can easily put that but the problem is that you can't see any space out here and that is true because the third row of seats are up and in this setting you can put 115 liters of luggage but in order to utilize the actual usage of the boot space on the discovery you fold down the seats for the buttons for which are given out here so when you press that it falls the third row of seat down and now you start realizing that this boot is massive with the third row of seat folded down so when the third row of seat are folded down you can put 840 liters of luggage in the back and it's a pretty rectangular space that you get and not just that there are also tying points out here and even on this side on the other side everywhere and even at the bottom there are points where you can tie down your luggage and there are also boot lights and everything but one other cool feature is that if you have a very heavy luggage and you want the car to be lowered there are buttons given out here so you can lower this car because this has the air suspension so you can lower the car so that you can easily put your luggage in and out and i don't know why would you lift your car but there is a button given for that so you can raise the height of this car completely in its off-roading position so it will go yeah so it started to do that and it's pretty quick that way because I, I like that fact it's not very slow and it just does things quite immediately up and down so that's what you want because you're obviously carrying some really heavy things in your hand and there is also this boot separator which has been given which finds its place nicely in the back out here it consumes a little bit of space but that's all right but when you put this also you can cover up the luggage space out here so people don't see what's in there in the back now the second row of seat is also foldable in a ratio of 60 to 40 again there are buttons given out here everything is about just comfort and less stressful in this car so when i go in now you can put 1451 liters of boot space in this one there's also a slight bit of step out here between the second and the third row of seat that's going to be all right because you get nice bit of carpet lining in here and i think it's pretty much like a studio apartment out here so forgive me because i'm gonna sit here for a while because boy these carpets are so soft and i'll just cover this and then you can sit and enjoy the view from the back of this discovery so welcome to a completely redesigned interior experience on this new generation of the discovery because there are lots of newer things added there's lots of tech added there are also better quality materials which have been added so this is this takes it very closer to the range rover territory now so let me start off with the basic material quality you get soft touch on the dashboard squishy materials out here on the dashboard even out here on the door cards you get this leather covered top bit which makes it very soft and it's also got a bit of pattern going on there is also just normal plastic at the bottom out here there is just carpet lining and then this one is normal plastic and out here there is the sweet kind of material which has been given but it's super soft when you touch it and also out here in the center handrest there's also a super soft material which is like the suede material even out here on the door cards on the sides where there is door handle that's where also you will find the soft touch materials there are also mood lights which are given out here in the door cards and in the dashboard in the footwell so that you can change from the infotainment screen you have like four five color options that you can change from so that is also available there's also glossy bit plastic out here near the air conditioning controls and there is also natural charcoal oak veneer strips which are given out here in the center of this dashboard out here on the door cards and even for the rear door cards so this is like real wood and not just 
the plastic insert there are also these metal paddle shifters which are given so you are them and every, everywhere there is quality bit of stuff and then this gear lever which is very similar to the Jaguar F-Pace in fact I recently did a review of that car as well so you can click on the pop banner out here and you can watch the full in-depth review video of the Jaguar F-Pace R Dynamic which is what that was as well when you come to the driver's display you get this 12 inch TFT display again that is also pretty uh, similar to the other uh, display options which you get on the Land Rover products so that has dials on both the sides the center bit shows you a lot of information like your trip information but there are also buttons given on the steering wheel first it takes a little while to understand what those buttons do but when you press that you the buttons on the steering wheel itself show you another option so where you can scroll down and then you can see your info panel the layout and then when you go inside the lay uh, actually first the info panel when you go in you can see all your driver assistance map trip summary that you can customize what you see in the middle of this screen and then when you go out and then it's it's slightly lagging little bit sometimes it feels a little heavily loaded so it takes a little while to go in and then then you have the different layout options of this screen which is two dial one dial then there is the full map option then there is the media option and the driver assistant i always like the map options because boy they look very good in fact the there was another car on which the full max maps look very good which is the audi e-tron gt so you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch a full in-depth review video of the audi e-tron rs gt so let's continue with this one so once we go out then you can go into the vehicle settings which will show you warning tire pressure passenger airbags then the media option and then the trip bank where it will show you the trip options which is your trip a trip b and then you can leave it in auto and all of that stuff and then the content when you go inside again what content you want to see from that trip information you can change that as well now when you come to the steering wheel this is a nice and big leather covered steering wheel with the discovery badging in the center and then these spokes which is like like one two three four four spokes which are given on this one and there are also paddle shifters which are given in the back which are metal paddle shifters and this steering wheel is electronically adjustable which is your tilt and the telescopic and on the right side you will find the buttons for your speed limiter and also the standard cruise control system which you get on the hse version of this discovery you get the adaptive cruise control but on this one you get the standard one there is also button for your lane keep assist and then there is also this so where there are no options on the buttons uh, land rover has still managed to give you just a plain button so you can just while you're going around you can fiddle around anyways that's too much of it and then there are also buttons given on the left side for the control of your driver's display and also the communication and the media controls and all of that so there's a multi buttons which are given out here there's also a scroller for your volume there is also one more button which is given on the steering wheel that which you can customize you can change that option from the settings when you go in where you can change all what that button does so when you long press it or when you short press it all of that you can change it from this option on your infotainment screen now when you come to the air conditioning controls straightforward dials are given out here but again in this also you get dials which are multifunctional so let me start off with that first so when you pull this dial you can actually change the the fan speed and then when you push them you can change the temperature on this one and you get four zone air conditioning system on this uh, Land Rover Discovery which is again an optional extra that you get otherwise it's a dry zone air conditioning system but on this you get the four zone and then there are also buttons given in the center but that those buttons are like the touch haptic button so you really have to press that first sometimes and then get the feel of it so then you press that and then there is auto and then the flow of air and everything that you can change from here so these dials actually I like the the dual nature of them because it's pretty spot on while on the move 
so you just have to pull and use it and then push it and then change the temperature you can even change the air conditioning controls from the infotainment screen but it's only for the rear that you can change so when you go into the climate and then you can for the front you can change the flow of air and you can switch it on and off while for the rear you can pretty much change the temperature the fan speed and all of that that you can do from here once we come to this infotainment screen this is an 11.4 inch pv pro system and i have mentioned it before also in the jaguar video that i've done recently that this is one of the finest system it's still a little slow it's still slightly buggy sometimes but i don't mind because it is a fabulous system it's so clever it's so simplified and it's just about enough when you are on the move and when you are driving so on this 11.4 and the the screen if you notice it's all flushed into the dashboard itself very nicely and it's also got slight bit of curve to it so it matches with the curve of this dashboard as well so it's pretty snappy too so you can on your main uh, menu you will see three big widgets that you can customize as well so you can add things on top of it like let's say your slope assist weighting and the wheel info and all of that and you can even customize by long pressing it as well so you can go through that or through the edit option that you have and then on the left side you will find the buttons for your navigation so you get inbuilt navigation system on this one and it's pretty decent it just takes little while to load but once it's loaded it is super quick and snappy so you get full size uh, maps out here then the next option is your phone option if you're connected to the phone you can connect using that and see all your information then the next option is your media option and then you will find your radio and all your connectivity options so in terms of the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system using the bluetooth usb and there is also the wired android auto and apple carplay on this land rover discovery then the next option is your vehicle settings in which you will find a lot of other options that you can control on this car like your auto brake hold engine start stop the traction control then there is the ride height option which i mentioned you about then the next detail option is your navigation then there is also the account then there is the seat option so when you go from here you can change the folding of the seats from here itself so not just from the back or from the second row you can even change it from your screen itself you can unfold it all and all the seats are going up right now and not just that you can even fold down the headrest individually or whichever headrest you want second row third row all of that that all things you can change from here from this infotainment screen which is pretty cool because you don't have to move around at all but control every aspect on this car from this infotainment screen then there is the camera so you get a 360 degree camera system which gives you brilliant surround view of this car and trust me you need that because this car is so huge then there is the valet mode if you give the car in valet then there is the eco data which shows you how you are driving how you're doing and then there is the energy impact the eco tips and the history of the car itself when how it has done over time in terms of its economy then the 4x4i which is what you're going to be using the most often because it's got all the 4x4 options in here so it gives you first the 4x4 info where you can lock your diff and everything and it shows you the pitch yaw and all those uh, angles and everything then there's something called as low traction launch so in the low traction launch you can activate this and if you're stuck somewhere in the mud or a sand then it would just give you that low range mode instead this is pretty much the low range mode instead of what they call the low traction and then there is the side step option you can deploy it or you can not deploy it you can switch it off and all all of that that you can do from your if you're off-roading so yeah it's handy to switch it off then there is the vehicle dimensions if you want to give someone your vehicle dimensions that are given on your screen itself then there is a voice phone and media option there is also detailed settings that you will get on this when you go from the settings which is in the corner where you can change your screen the theme home layout and then the audio option so on this discovery you get 12 speaker plus two subwoofers 400 watt meridian sound system and if you're familiar with the land rover product then and if you want good music i mean amazing music then you should definitely go for the meridian sound system the next option is the all options in which you will find all the car related options for your profiles the connectivity there is also a nano sim which is given on this one so there is wi-fi data that you can give inside this car so 
that's also possible hotspot to all the passengers in the car then there is the vehicle settings in which you will find all your uh, exterior light options and the interior light options and then the convenience options in which you can change all the other bits like your windows gear shifters paddles and all of that then the cabin lighting which with which you can change it from here from this option your units your vehicle option then the general settings now when you come to the charging you get 112 volt power socket which is given underneath the air conditioning control and also there is one more wireless charger which is a boosted wireless charger and it also boosts the signal which is given out here and it's also got that nice bit of velvet suede lining which is given out here and not just that there is also one more storage inside which you will find one more 12 volt power socket which is given out here and there are also two more usb ports one normal usb port and one type c port which has been given and for the rear passengers there are three usb ports which are given in this center console at the bottom two type c and one normal usb port and there is also one 12 volt power socket and not just that there are also two more usb ports which are given individually in the driver and the passenger seat in the back so lots of charging options that you will find on this discovery now when you come to the sunroof you get a normal sunroof in the front but there is also a moon roof which is given in the back so there's like a break in between there's like a pillar and then on either side you get that so that is a cool feature because i like how they've divided but they've just extended it right to the end and even for the third row of passenger they can enjoy the view from the top so that roof in the back doesn't open but the one in the front that definitely opens when you come to the storage you can put a lot of storage on this one there is a lot of storage so in the door cards you can put one and a half liter water bottle and some more storage on the sides there is also this storage pad out here where you can put your phones and wallets and one more clever storage is this air conditioning controls there's a button given out here so when you press that you open this door which gives you this access to this sort of secret compartment let's say where you can put your phones and wallets and when this door is open you can still control the air conditioning controls from your infotainment screen it gives you the option of that and once you close it then it just comes back to the normal screen and even the dials start functioning there is also one more storage which is given on top out here where you can put like books phones and wallets again all of that and there's also the regular glove box which is given again lined with nicely velvety material out here and there's also this center armrest in which you will find there's double layer storage so this one is the flat one we can put your phone and then you will see this storage box out here which is big enough to store for half a liter worth of bottle and not just that you get the optional fridge option so this is like a cooled box and you get two options to cool this one so you can go extremely cool and then or mild cool there are also lights inside it so that at night you can see whatever drink you put inside this one so that's a big storage option out here there is also one slot out here where you can put your phone and there are two cup holders which are given out here so one is the normal cup holder and the other one is a flexible cup holder and the there's also a slot in the middle where you can put your phone so that's just in the front which is so much of storage but in the rear again in the door cards you can easily put same one to one and a half liter worth of bottle and then so there are hand rest in which you will find couple of flexible cup holders as well there's also this dial which is given a lone dial so that is for your volume control and the infotainment so you can control it from the steering wheel or from here if the passenger wants to so instead of giving it on the screen this is given out here there's also another dial which is given out here for your terrain selector and drive mode selector so when you press it it leaves it into the auto mode but if you want to take control you can lift it up and then press it and then you can go into the eco mode and then there is also the comfort then there is the gravel snow mode and then there is also the mud ruts then there is the sand mode and there is also the rock mode and then the wading mode so you can select any of these modes and then you these are all the terrain modes while the comfort and the eco mode is more of the daily driving modes Ooh, i think i was in um yeah which is why uh, it was in the wading mode which is why the car went to complete the the highest setting which is what i was wondering why did it went up now when you come to these seats these are black and white 
leather seats out here and they are super comfortable as is with any Land Rover products the seats are pretty amazing especially the headrest because that is one of my favorite it is so good and the seats are also perforated but they are not the cooled or the heated seats as you may think but it's just the normal seats and they have nice bit of support out here and you can even inflate the side support out here so when you're uh, sat inside you can adjust that using the dials which are given on the side of the uh, seat i'm going to come to that as well so you get that extra bit of support on the side as well because that is adjustable and these seats are pretty comfortable during the longer journeys and you sit quite high up on this discovery as well because you get a commanding position while driving this discovery and there's also this hand rest which is given a foldable one so you can fold it away or you can have it when you're driving it so it gives you the captain seat options as well in both the driver and the passenger side as well now the driver and the passenger side seat is 18 way electronically adjustable including four way lumbar control and also the controls which i mentioned to bolster the side support a little bit if you want so that you can do that from the dial which has been given from the side this is for both the driver and the passenger now out here in the second row of seat you get the same level of comfort as it was in the front so you get the same black and white leather seats out here on either sides and in the center it's just completely black it's perforated but it doesn't do any heating or the cooling and the knee room out here is pretty decent i like that and also the headroom is also pretty good because this car is so tall and not just that because these windows are so big you can get a nice airy view you are never going to feel claustrophobic in this car at all you can also slide your feet underneath the seat not much room but yeah so for a longer journeys you can still extend it and the seats are slightly on the lower side when you are sitting down but that's all right but because they are still comfortable and not just that you can adjust these seats because these are reclinable as well so during the longer journeys you can have them recline or you can give extra room for the third row of passenger if you want to and it's also the slidable seat so you can slide them ahead it, yeah so you can give that extra bit of space for the the third row of passenger as well which is on either side you can do that there is also not much of the tunnel out here it's in fact nil so it's just a flat surface out here so when i sit in the middle because there is also a dedicated seat in the middle and yeah i can assure you this seat is one of the nicest one to sit uh, on this discovery because you get a big broad view in the front and clear view because that is this car is so broad that way so yeah i think the middle passenger is going to be really satisfied when they are sat in this uh, middle seat you get the same levels of luxury white color leather out here on the door guards giving you soft touch and then there is also the suede kind of material on the sides only at the bottom that is just normal plastic and then there is also the natural oak veneer which has been given there are also these pocket storage given in the driver and the passenger side seat and out here you also get a hand dress in which you will find two flexible cup holders but they are given at the front side so when there is cup you can't utilize or otherwise when yeah it's not that broad enough which is what i find and not just that you can even fold down this middle hand rest this seat and then if there is any luggage in the back at that time or if there are passengers that you want to clap or do something then that you can do by putting down this seat so it gives you access to that the third row of seat or even the boot if there is anything that you're utilizing like that there are also the four chargers which are given out here which is your usb three usbs and one 12 volt power socket there's also one usb given out here in the driver seat and also the passenger side seat and there's a one mysterious connection option which is given out here so i don't know let me know what is this about because it's just got like a socket kind of thing like just the hole and then inside yeah, yeah. and i don't know, let me know in the comment section below if you know what this one is because i'm pretty clueless there are also air conditioning vents given on top out here and there are also vents given out here in the center console underneath which you will find the controls for the the air conditioning controls out here in the second and the third row of seats so there are dials given out here the same way it functions you pull it and then use the fan speed and then push it and then control the temperature but 
on the right side of that the the other dial the the ring has already fallen off which is what is a little awkward but yeah but it's still a pretty decent quality car i can assure you that it could be some someone before me or someone yeah was not kind enough to use this car in a good way there are also grab handles which are given on the door frames on either side now usually when you have a third row in a car the seat is going to be most of the times pretty much non-existence because it just does not give you that much of space or it's just not comfortable or the floor is just too raised and makes things very cramped out in the back of that third row but on this one surprisingly on the discovery because as i mentioned it's so tall it gives you decent amount of head room out here and the knee room is going to be pretty all right and plentiful i would say because the second row seat is adjustable and if your passengers are also adjustable they would give you that space and then you can find that extra bit of leg room and everything and the way to do that is also because these seats can do that electronically so there are buttons given on top of these seats so when i press that i just have to put it in the back and the seat would automatically fold itself and hopefully not crush my yeah okay uh, it, there's just about i mean one finger worth of room out here but you can if you want to come out from these seats there are buttons given on top so when you press that it would put the seats in uh, like fold them away and then you can push it it's a little cramped that way getting in and out of the car overall the comfort in the back itself is again pretty good because you have the same levels of leather and material quality out here which is soft and everything and plus this headrest as well and these are also the electronically foldable headrest not just that you get the optional upgraded seats the third row seats which are electronically foldable there are some shoddy quality work which i find again out here like this panel which is a little loose out here and so is the other one which is rattling a little bit that's about it and you also get two cup holders normal ones which are given on either side of the seats they are just given at the bottom there are also air conditioning vents which are mounted on this frame out here so the land rover discovery is offered in four different models which is the s then there is the r dynamic s and then there is the r dynamic se and the top of the line are dynamic hse the one i'm driving is the r dynamic se and there are two different engine options available while the base variant comes in with a four cylinder turbocharged two liter engine this one comes in with a six cylinder inline turbocharged and supercharged three liter engine that produces 360 ps or 355 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque while this engine is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission and you get the four wheel drive of course which is why this discovery is all about so the three liter engine is quite good and quite ample for day-to-day -day use because obviously it's turbocharged it's supercharged it's also complicated because so much is going on so you get good lower end torque also and higher end torque also as a result of the turbocharge and the supercharge so overall the engine response is very good even the cure box eight cylinders which is the eight speed auto even that is very good in terms of its response i like how the whole thing is it's just that when you're accelerating it just feels a little lousy to accelerate but that's still kind of all right because it's a huge suv in fact discovery now sheds 480 kilograms all thanks to its aluminium chassis and lots of aluminium materials that land rover has decided to use on this one which is why you get a reduced weight which is nearly half a ton and to be honest it's quite visible also although it still feels pretty heavy but which is why the three liter engine is still pretty decent enough you can even put it in the sport mode by flicking it from this gear lever and then things do become a slightly responsive while now the engine pushes to higher rpms the gear shifts and then the throttle response slightly improves but that's about it because it's more about the off-roading abilities of this car than the on-road which is what i feel but yes you can put this into a sport mode and get a little bit of you know that excitement going up so when you come to the 
suspensions you get the air suspensions on this one and they are pretty good i feel and it's not just that it's it floats around on the surfaces so well you don't really feel anything but there is still a bit of a roll as a result as i said that this car is heavy which is especially the top heavy car this one is so it really feels that this car is carrying a lot of weight but the air suspension themselves they do a good job of calibrating and reading the road surfaces especially when you are off-roading or when you are on different uh, modes especially because you get the ability to raise the height of the car so it does all that cleverly on its own in fact let me do a slalom and show you the rolling you know how much there is on this one because although again it's it's a big suv so i don't expect it to be super agile and super responsive but still i am <laughs> fearing because it's a tall car and it's top heavy but somehow land rover's clever off-roading package and the terrain response system make sure that it keeps the car pretty leveled up that way now i i wanted to take this car off-roading but i i've done off the camera a little bit i've managed to capture it but i don't want to push it too much because these are 21 inch rims and the bonnet uh, the bumper actually is also not the off-roading bumper so i don't want to damage because this is a super spec car like heavily spec so i just want to not damage anything which is why but trust me this is a super capable suv for sure now when you come to the fuel economy from this three liter engine now you can get on a normal day-to-day -day driving when you're in the comfort mode uh, anywhere between let's say seven to eight kilometers per liter which is inside the city and on a longer runs you can get it up to nine to nine and a half kilometers per liter which is a very good improvement over the previous generation for sure so there are lots of fine refinements and improvements that have been given on this discovery as well now when you come to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this discovery and the thing is the pedal feels a little spongy when i try to press it because there is a bit of a dead zone in between and then that is why it takes a little while for the brakes to start acting up but let me do a quick 100 to 0 emergency brake stop and show you yeah the abs kicks in and then the emergency stop signal kicks in so yeah it's because there is so much of mass so it takes a little while to come to a stop but it's still a decent braking system that you get on this discovery now when you come to the steering system it's kind of a little clumsy i feel because there is a lot of dead spot again in the steering system also so like in between when i try to turn it around you see there is not much of movement so it's it's just that plus when you try to turn it in it takes a few quarter of a rotation before it actually starts rotating and turning itself so that's another thing so the direction change is all right but i feel yeah it can be made a little more fun and interactive i feel a lot little more feedback would be nicer but again it's all big suvs so it's comparatively better to a lot more bigger suvs that i have driven that way that's for sure now when you come to the noise and the vibrations it's the usual land rover quality and in fact it almost touches the range rover abilities because it's super quiet in here the material quality is very good everything is decent although a few places where the plastic quality can be improved and the fit and finish also can be improved that's the only thing that's about it but otherwise there is no noise the the air whooshing or anything even from these windows because this is today is a very windy day as well but yet there is no sound of any wind or anything no tire noise or anything so good job with that now when it comes to the safety systems you get seven airbags on this one actually a lot more airbags but you get two front airbags for the driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger and there are curtain airbags lined up in this front pillar in the middle pillar for the second row and also for the third row of passenger there is also one driver knee airbag as well that has been given there is also a 
very good and I say good very good because there is a 360 degree camera system that has been provided on this one and the output from that lags a little bit diamond that is also to do with the fact because of the PV Pro system that they have given but it still does the job decent and especially with this big car you need that 360 degree camera system so you can have a look all around when you are driving it so that's a very good thing that you get on this one plus there is also child isofix points in the second row of seat and also in the third row of seat as well there is also tire pressure monitoring system there is also abs there is also the ebd emergency stop signal there is also traction control system and also the the roll control the the stability on that as well then there is the land rover's terrain response system which is very good there are so many different driving modes that i mentioned before and all of them do a specific task and it's all functioning and working it's not just given but you will actually start feeling the differences when you have tested them which is what this thing is more of an off-roader and it belongs there for sure and in terms of the other safety systems you also get the front and the back collision warnings and all of that stuff so there is also the lane keep assist that is given on this as well so all of those standard safety systems which you get these days offered on different cars is offered out here as well when it comes to the pricing the mid range comes in at 272,000 dirhams uh, which is this one actually the R Dynamic SE comes in at 272,000 dirhams but there are so many optional extras on this one like the electronic sideboard four zone uh, climate control system then all the other optional extras that you see the foldable electronically foldable third row of seat and there is also premium carpeting and so many things that have been given on this one because i've covered pretty much all of it whatever i could so all of those extra bits make this car cost around 351,000 dirhams now i get that this now touches nearly the defender and it's nearly the range rover as well so I mean if you remove the optional extras and if we can do away with that this still is an unbeatable premium suv that you get and you still get a range roverish kind of feel from the inside now instead of the drabby plastic and you know normal cockpit experience which you get before in the discovery of the previous generation so compared to that this is a very good improvement overall it's also versatile it's got the technology now on the inside it's it's got the off-road ability anyways that's pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe